watch and burn. Hey everyone, so today I wanted to discuss Black Flag's um, most misleading record, and that is 1981's Damaged. Now this is the first record that pretty much everybody seems to find their way into Black Flag through. At least it was for me and everybody I knew. Um, when I got a hold of Damage back when I was a kid, I was like, oh fuck, this is like the punkest thing in the world. And it was so raw sounding and it was so angry and everything was so visceral and it was so in your face and it was so depressive. Like the, the subject matter here ranging from drug addiction to alcohol abuse to television addiction, all the way up to like self-destruction and sort of like feeling like you could commit like a mass of homicides because things just aren't really going your way. And this record sort of summed up that early 1980s like ultra nihilistic hardcore punk scene that Black Flag would really, they would help invent with this record. And so there I was, as well, like I said, everybody else I knew, when we tracked this down, we were like, holy fuck, with, with tracks like Six Pack and TV Party being on here, Thirsty and Miserable, um, Life of Pain, Depression, um, Rise Above, Spray Paint, you really think, okay, well, I know everything I'm gonna know about this band, and we have to track down everything else they've done. And because that was like a million years ago and the internet wasn't exactly what it is now, that means like we had to find things through like the print media. And I did end up coming across like their discography and while wow, between their full lengths as well as all their EPs, Black Flag have released a ridiculous amount of material in what is a really short period of time. And so it felt kind of overwhelming but then I remember one of my buddies was like, I'm getting my war because, man, if this record's called Damaged and that record's called My War, you can only imagine how much faster and how much crazier and like how much more like frenetic the songs are going to be. And then he got his hands on My War. And even though My War is a kick-ass Black Flag record, we didn't see it coming. That record was a, a complete shift in tempo songwriting, composition, arranging. The record was more metal than it was punk. And then I remember we were at, down in Toronto and I found um, Loose Nut on cassette. It was like 20 bucks at the HMV in Toronto. And I was like, Loose Nut, okay, another Black Flag record. And whereas there weren't quite as many songs as there were on Damaged, and I did sort of get like a My War vibe from the album, from Loose Nut, I bought it anyways, and I'm glad I did because that record kicks ass. But then when we got back home and I was playing it, Loose Nuts got some speed-ish to it. But again, it was nothing like damaged. It was more, it was slower and it was more metal based. And we quickly found out after tracking down pretty much at least the rest of their full lengths when we were all kids, that this is the one-off. This record is the one that doesn't fit in with the rest of their discography. So in that sense, it's very misleading. And it's almost, if Black Flag's other full lengths weren't so amazing with like Slip It In, Loose Knot, In My Head, like In My War, if those records weren't so solid and they weren't so epic, I would have been really disappointed because this would have been the one-off album from this Black Flag band that I really liked, whereas I thought everything else they did sucked. And fortunately enough, that wasn't the case, but this record is so fast and this record is so angry and I'm not saying that their other records aren't as angry because the anger and the confusion and the sort of like loss of direction is, is very apparent on everything else they've done. But with this record, it's so fucking like punk that, you know, it's like, it's all you want to listen to. It's like right up there with anything Minor Threat did or it's up there with like Bad Religions, How Could Hell Be Any Worse or The Dead Kennedys and God We Trust or The Misfits Earth AD. You're like, holy shit, this is so angry. This is so fast. This is so wild. And that was it. This was the only record they released that sounded that way. And I don't know, it divided a lot of people. I knew that like back in high school, it did sort of divide a lot of people who were into this type of music. Some people loved it, but other people felt like it was a one-off because they hated their other like more metal focused stuff. I always considered myself fortunate to be able to like both sides of Black Flag. But yeah, this record was pretty divisive. So I think I'll leave it there. 
So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes while I discussed Black Flag's landmark 1981 album, and that is Damaged. If you like this review, like always, don't forget to do something nice for somebody, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.